It's recording now. Was it not recording? I don't before? think it was recording, and even <laughs> if it was, I can't. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, like how many times, do you, three or four times? Is that how many times we want to do this? Okay, let's start from the beginning. Okay. In, intro into... Hello, and welcome to the 10 millimeter. Is that what we're calling it? Like the last 10 millimeter? Are we pretty good with the 10 millimeter? I still like Toyota Fixation. I mean, uh, this, this, this fits the Toyota Fixation. The Toyota 10 millimeter fixin, fixation. The fixin channel, the Toyota fixin. Yeah, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Tanner. And I'm Carson. And we are cold and in Kansas, and we just bought a Tercel. I'm sure everybody wants uh, a I'm, Tercel. Yeah, the, this is the top of everyone's Christmas list. And sucks to be you, cause we got it. <laughs> and there's none as crusty and rusty as this one. <laughs> crusty, rusty? That's a pretty good name for it. I was just admiring our uh, sheet metal on this fender here. And uh, I I've had I've had some floppy fenders before. This one might be the most malleable. Mmm, crunchy. We, I mean, we, we probably paid extra for that. Yeah, yeah. Paying extra was not something we wanted to do on this particular vehicle. Um, Carson and I are definitely in agreement that we paid too much for this vehicle at a rousing $600. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tanner has probably sent me hundreds of classified ads for different vehicles, uh -huh. and I could pretty easily turn them down because I have no interest. And then, he, of course, he sent this one. Got him right in this nostalgia. Oh, he, he hooked me because because we just you know we can relate to these this, and both of us lusted after those four wheel drive cells back in the early days. Yeah, in the high school days, we were romping around the Colorado hills in our two wheel drive cells, getting them stuck in places we had no business being in, and dreaming about having a four wheel drive cell. Which really, once we got our trucks, what we really wanted and didn't know it at the time was a low gear. But uh, unfortunately, this has four wheel drive, but it does not have a low range. So it's, it's four high, which, so we get, it's, it's, yeah. it's a two spinner. Well, we get a front one spinner and we get a rear one spinning. If we learned anything from our previous experience with our Tercels, momentum is king. And so really, if you can hit a hill fast enough, you can get over anything. I mean, some people would be happy to pay six hundred dollars for a, a running vehicle. Yeah. Not uh, maybe not running and driving vehicle. Whoops. Running has the little asterisk next to it that says "but not moving," because it runs great. Starts right up, no problem. Alrighty. It took a little bit to warm up, but uh, once it it's did, a cold day, it took some coaxing. Yeah, but it warmed up pretty good. Hold on. And once it did, it ran like, like the Dickens. What? Yeah, she sounds good. Yeah, it runs real smooth. Yeah. It just been setting for a while. Yeah. That second fire up, I I honestly was shocked. It turned to the key and it fired up on cue. You can start it back up now. Like yeah, doll. yeah. But it does need a clutch. We know for a fact it needs a clutch to the point where it will not move under its own power no matter how beautifully the engine runs. Which we'll kind of figure out if that's the only thing because that's um, what we were told. Carson, I could say with 100% certainty and accuracy that it is the only thing wrong with this vehicle. I don't think that's the stock hanger. It's probably not. I, I would say that that's, it's aftermarket for sure though. Do we know? No, period. Is that a two by four in there? Please say yes. <laughs> it totally is That's a two, a two by, by four. four. There is a two. How did that even get in there? Our frame is showing. Our wooden frame is showing. And, and it needs a battery. No, well, uh, those are baby things. We, we don't need no batteries. 
Just ask for the person in the stall next for you for a jump every time that you need to start it. I mean, people are friendly out here. <laughs> yeah, as long as it has a good alternator, I mean, hook up. He said it was alternator's brand new. So yeah, yeah. New alternator, so we'd be good in that front. Yeah, I think if we get enough nine volt or nine volt batteries <laughs> and just keep them in the cab with you, <laughs> you you're fine. <laughs> that would be a good video. That would be. I, how many nine volt can, batteries? Can you start a car on a nine volt battery? And. And how many fingers will you lose when the batteries explode <laughs> and melt you with acid? I think it sounds like the origins of a Batman villain. We got lots of rust. Lots of rust. That's that all buff out. That's all just little. My favorite's under the door here. Yeah. I mean, this is that actually looks like it might have been hit there. Just a little rock. I'm sure that's the last of the damage that'll happen. We've got we got rust to spare. We got four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. Uh huh. Oh look, we got locking. locking. People, people pay extra for this. Yeah, locking this, gas cap. People are always selling me like, what happens if someone steals the seven dollars worth of gas that my Tercel gas tank can hold? Fear no more. Muffler with multiple openings, not just the one in the back. There's also a big one on the top and the bottom. We've got a little bit of rust here on this side too, just a smidge, just a smidge. It it makes a good noise. I I don't I don't hate the noise. It is much 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 smaller than I remember my Tercel being. And this is bigger than either one of our Tercels was. Yeah. But it's clean inside. It's clean inside. It's totally clean inside. I mean, it matches the interior color. So we're just trying to transition. I do think these are taller inside. These have higher oh, head yeah, height. Oh yeah, they definitely feel I taller. I love the ceiling. Check out the ceiling. Yeah, that ceiling is very interesting to just to look at. The bed spring ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> And so it, I don't know how we squeezed into our little high school clown cars. We had like five, six people in ours all the time. I remember six packing the Tercel and driving through a very muddy road and getting quite <laughs> stuck. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a hatchback, four door. Uh -huh. The rear bumper is on. The rear bumper is on. We, we did a lot of bumper bashing in our Tercels. Yeah. That one looks about probably it's how ours is. It's basically a built-in stinger. Pretty, Man, pretty manual transmission, of course, and uh, four-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive is really, I think, going to make this project all the sweeter. You know what made me giggle a little inside? I was looking at the rear diff on this thing. Is how tiny it, it is? It is tiny. The pumpkin uh, is about that big around. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's cute. Yeah. Yeah. And a rear diff. Ooh, look at that little baby pumpkin. Dude, it's so cute. I have carved jack-o'-lanterns way bigger than that. I guess most people have. That's not really impressive. Cutting that out. <laughs> Sounds stupid. <laughs> so what's the plans for this? First, first things first. First things first is clutch. Clutch. And then we're going to take it on some road trips. Not road trips. We're going to test it. Test drives. And just prove that this is the pinnacle of Tercel engineering. We'll put a clutch in it. There will be no hijinks along the way. There will be no issues. No problems. Everything will go perfectly smooth and as expected. Is there anything else I can jinx while we're at it? Uh, well, we're gonna put bigger tires on it, so that probably won't cause any issues. No, and it definitely won't decrease our fuel mileage at all. I want this getting a firm 38 miles to the gallon everywhere we go. I don't think mine ever got that. No, my Tercel got pretty good. I think my, I, I touched 40 a couple of times. Mm, mine was usually running on three cylinders. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that was the where I was missing out of the miles per gallon. Yeah, category. that might have been it, yeah. If I really stayed into the gas everywhere I drove, which is how every teenager drives, I had all four. <laughs> so, yes, of course, that's how I drove. Most of my issues with my Tercel were electrical of my own doing, to the point of we had CB radios in all our high school vehicles, and mine, if you wiggled it just right, you could blow the fuse for the tail lights and the, and the display lights and be completely in the dark when you're driving down the road. And if that were to happen, and say a police officer were to catch you, you could also get a ticket for that. That probably Just, never happened. Yeah, theoretical. <laughs> yeah, we got some big plans for this. I feel like we missed something else. We're confident in this... Old Betsy here. ...little car. Yeah. I wonder, does it need a normal name? Or you know, my just... wife had a car that was this color, and she called it the Cream Puff. Is this your exhaust all over it? Like, <laughs> no, I don't think that. I think that's. I think that's from sitting out in that's the as is. outside. This is as is. Filled. That's like an added coat of, of Protect protection. It. Faint, it's paint, paint protection. Protector. There we yeah. go. Okay, are we done freezing our butts off. I think so. I'm freezing my Royal Rescue Fire Ninis off. Let's get in the freaking truck. Let's see if any of that's usable.
I love the Toyota emblem or logo right here. Yeah, you can see it through the window there. Hi. Hey. 